Uh, you know, like just in case any of y'all got health side, problems. Like, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna keep it real over here, man. Just in case any of you any of y'all got health problems. Big seat though, be exact. You know what I'm saying? Get it all the way exact. You feel me? <laughs> you wanna kick it with the man? Tired, y'all look dry. The fans are sighing. You say you real, why you lying? Can't deny it. I'm so shy, need a gang alliance. Walked in this bitch with a gang alliance. About to blow shit like gang alliance. Yeah, yeah. Now, is it my fault that I grew cold? Like the city I rose at a few years old. Had no heat in the house, had to use the stove. Got the heat in the house, let you niggas know. Niggas still my flow, niggas still my style. If they could, man, niggas probably still my smile. On my dead granny, y'all niggas way too wild. On my granddaddy, y'all niggas way too foul. Here's a reminder, old kills had to that one coming up, resting in motels and shelters. Better bundle up, cold world. I know you heard that before. Before they let me run the world, let me settle the score. I know you blowing with my fans, say my name at your tour. I ain't got a pop, nigga. I'm the realest, you can't ignore. I said that on seat though, so hold your peace. You know you niggas don't really want what you wanna get it with that Alright, yeah. Let's get to it. You know what I'm saying? That's Lames by Kells on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? We talk about Lames. Just in case anybody got health issues. Health issues. If you got health issues, you know what I'm saying? You could be a lame. You could be a mental lame. You know what I'm saying? You could be a retarded brain. You know what I'm saying? And that's how these motherfucking Masons and Jesuits and shit got y'all retarded brains and shit like that. You know, all of us retarded brain in a sense, you know what I'm saying? We all trying to figure out our own security in a way, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, that's why we here and shit. We here to build. I am Kale Sito, the spirit coach getting you in shape and form for the new age of Aquarius. Okay, let's talk about it. I tried CMOS, y'all. <laughs> I tried CMOS. I tried CMOS. Okay? CMOS was great. It was fire. I loved it. Jess had that shit. She mixed it with the motherfucking... Um, she mixed it with the motherfucking... Um, the motherfucking lemonade. No, no, no. The, the grapefruit juice. Oh, my goodness, bro. That shit was hard. Ooh, that shit was hard. That shit tastes like... You know what I'm saying? You know that shit was hard, but for the most part, why I wanted to come on here is because I also see a wave with this um, and, and natures, and especially like in a black conscious community and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? Um, where when I start seeing things of that nature and behind the scenes, I have to like come to a conclusion. Why is it being used as a new savior? type of thing. So, you know what I'm saying? I kind of wanted to go on a trip and kind of look up what Moss was in general and shit like that. So, you know what I'm saying? I did my searches and stuff, but what I came to the conclusion was when I think of Moss in general, Moss is just covering some shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not that these things that we're calling these things Moss, that's not what that actually is. We're calling that Moss. So when it gets to the words and how we use words and you know what I'm saying? What these actual words were kind of pointing to, you can kind of get the representation of the energy signature of what someone is pointing to. You get what I'm saying? So when I see moss, you know what I'm saying? I see a cover up. You know what I'm saying? I see a cover up. Okay. And so, you know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all to be covered up because I, you know, I, you can see moss on a fucking wall, right? And 
depending on how good that moss is covering that wall, you might not even know it's covered. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you might not even know it's a wall. You know what I'm saying? So I be seeing the little spells and shit, you know what I'm saying, that be behind these things because for the most part, see, anytime you're dealing with the word see, that is a group of feelings, right? And so, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, when whatever, so when you think of moss in general, moss is going to be only going to add to it's a cover up, you know what I'm saying? Moss plays as a cover up. Shout out to Von the Guru. Um yeah, so it's the it's a cover up. So you know what I'm saying? When I see when I see moss in general, like that shit is just a cover up. Okay? So it's only gonna add to something, it's only gonna grow out to something. So it ain't really about what you taking, it's how you taking it, okay? Because you could be taking sea moss or whatever, you could think it's your savior and shit like that. But it's not it's not like that's how I see a lot of people preaching about it in a, in a in a black community or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like it's some type of savior and shit like that, you know? But for the most part, I like to look at these things like what is the actual energy of these things? So when I think of moss, like I said, moss, moss is adding on to something. And based on what emotional state you are in, when well, you're taking this, this, this thing, because moss actually holds water and vibration is going to add on to your emotional state. So therefore, if you don't know your emotional state when you're intaking anything in general, you know what I'm saying? You're adding on to something, you know what I'm saying? So when y'all in an emotional state and they got y'all in a religious emotional state of, um, oh, this, this, this thing is going to help me, you know, no, it's not going to help you because if you're in a state of being help i mean needing to be helped you're only and you intake that you're only going to add more of you needing to be helped so you know what i'm saying for the most part you got to just know what states of being you in because you know what i'm saying with c is going to moss okay or mass or whatever it's the same thing but yeah you know so um you know you don't want to get necessarily lost in anything external as your savior and so i see like you know, when motherfuckers start erecting stores in the hood and shit like that, selling sea moss and shit like that, that's cool. We want to get our health in order, you know what I'm saying? But you don't want to necessarily make these things like, you know what I'm saying, just because you motherfucking drinking sea moss, you know what I'm saying, you enlightened in, or some shit like that. No, the fuck that don't mean that, you know what I'm saying? Or you conscious or you, you know what I'm saying? Nah, it's flunked out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I heard Brother Panic say that y'all being, um, what do you say? Y'all being, um, hotepy. You know what I'm saying? That spirituality ain't about hotep. You know, it's not. It's about real shit. It's about, you know what I'm saying, experiencing and doing some real self reflection. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, when you, you know, sea moss, like I said, for the most part, you know, it's good. You know what I'm saying? I tried it with the grapefruit juice, it was a hit. You know what I'm saying? But when we actually point into these words, and things like I said, these things are not not actually that. You know what I'm saying? Not actually what we're pointing to. So when you understand the frequency vibration of the words, you you can understand what they're actually trying to say. You know what I'm saying about these things. And so that way you can extract the spiritual natures. But this is a real spiritual concept. You know what I'm saying? You got to be really spiritually inclined to do this. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna extract the spiritual natures and use it for yourself and not use it in a way that they want you to use it into it. AKA it's some um, something outside of you that can save you. Alright? So yeah, man, and I hope y'all get that. Cause I don't really go any much lower than that. Like I really be high and dry with the concepts, you know what I'm saying? Capricorn ascendant, Kales, Sito, the spirit coach. Okay. Yeah, but let's get to these alignments, though. You know what I'm saying? Let's hop on these alignments. But shout out to the CMOS. Actually, let me show you. Show y'all the uh, CMOS I tried. It's from... Um, it is full um, all natural. Shout out to Jalen. You know what I'm saying? All natural. Let me... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Jalen. You feel me? Um, shit was fire, but yeah, um, but, but um, you know how we rocking, you know how we rocking, okay? So, right now, let's get into it. We got the sun and Scorpio and the moon and Virgo. This is acting in secrecy, I think I said something like that for security. So, you may be, uh, 
What did I say? Hold on, let me actually go to it over here so I can actually see that shit. Cause I don't do that shit for real. Acting in secret for security, that is the theme for today, okay? You may be looking or acting in hidden ways to reflect on what's secure. So you may be doing actions, you know what I'm saying, or doing little actions, little things, little things behind the scene, you know what I'm saying, to kind of see how you, you know what I'm saying, Maybe you might want to see a person's body language or how they react, or you know what I'm saying, you may want to see like, a reaction you may get you if to see if to test your own security level okay so that's what we're doing you want to be comfortable with the details of your works you know what i'm saying when the moon is in motherfucking um virgo and shit like that virgo is mutable earth being mutable and adaptable to our own and other ways of thinking and being practical okay and it's also ruled by mercury nighttime of Mercury. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be dealing with that, analyzing, worrying, detailing, you know what I'm saying? We may feel the need to, damn, like something's missing or damn, like we got to perfect something or damn, you know what I'm saying? But, and, but how that's going to look, it's going to look dark. Okay. Fixed water, sun and Scorpio being fixated on our own way of, um, our own feelings and emotions, you know what I'm saying? Eighth house, you know what I'm saying? Um, behind the scenes and shit y'all get it you know what i'm saying so just be careful sun in scorpio could lead um like i said it can look dark which could lead into overanalyzing as long as you don't overanalyze and you feel good then shit if you feel good you tell me if you're in the right vibration or not i don't make that choice for you i don't see don't make that choice for you i can't make that choice for you okay i can't i can't make know if you feel good or not you know what I'm saying? You only got to know what's up to you. Okay? What's up to you? All right, get it together. You get it together when the coach is here. All right? And let's get to the alignments because I ain't did these motherfuckers in a whole little minute. Shout out to Classic Girl 7-7. Seven, seven. You know what I'm saying? We building. We building about shit. Um, any of you guys ever try CMOS? And what do you think about it? CMOS ain't gonna say your ass though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's all I wanted y'all to know. That's all I wanted y'all to know. It ain't gonna say your ass. You gotta still really be out here doing real work. You know what I'm saying? It's shit you can do. You know what I'm saying? Beyond um, food and shit and things of the external realm to actually heal yourself, you know what I'm saying, or actually will the will you need to live, because that's what y'all only talking about, just having a will to live and shit like that. So it's just like y'all allowing something outside of y'all to determine that will for yourself. God damn it, you're going to die when you're going to die. So just live right now. <laughs> Fuck it, that's it. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's it. Sun can jump Mars right now, though. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna, um, this is active transformations. Okay, so you're going to be acting transformed. All right, so this may bring a lot of selfish energy when it comes to individuality. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So you may even feel selfish by what you're expressing right now. Or you may feel selfish, you know, I mean, or you may or you may feel like your passions is being externalized or expressed in some way, shape or form. Or you just may see yourself like you're separate in some way, shape or form. So that's how, that's the energy of Sun conjunct Mars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you, you know, that's what it is. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Then we got Sun square Jupiter. Shout out to Boss Baby Justin House. Boss Baby Jizzo. Yes, y'all know. Go subscribe, Boss Baby Jess. Sacred Nothings. If you need it, she got it. You know what I'm saying? My best friend. You know what I'm saying? My partner. You know what I'm saying? In crime. You know what I'm saying? She, we out here. All right. But let's get. Um, we got Sun Square Jupiter. Okay. This is learning how to see our faith. All right. Faith and wisdom is going to be. Uh, um, so, yeah, so we're going to be learning how to see our face. So we're going to be expressing 
our faith and wisdom. And it's going to be through our associations at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Because Jupiter is in Aquarius and Jupiter brings expansion wherever it's at. So it's bringing expansion to the 11th house, how we associate ourselves as individuals. And you know what I'm saying? And how that, and we're going to be learning about that because it's squaring the sun. And so, um, for the most part, that's going to cause that learning. We're going to be learning how to see our faith and shit like that. Or we're going to be the, the actions that we take anytime we hop into our sun sign, anytime, well, anytime we act, act into that, um, how, how shit looks right now, which is dark, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, we're going to learn how to, um, well, aka dark, aka behind the scenes, aka we, it's sun and Scorpio. Everything's in the eighth house. Everything is in the emotions and the feelings and the, the, the fixated point of fall. Right. And so when we hop into that energy, you know what I'm saying? That transformational energy is going to square us up. AKA, we're going to be learning about our faith and shit like that when it comes to our actions, because that's what we got to do. We just got to learn about our faith and shit like that. And so if your faith don't look good right now, then that's what you learn. You know what I'm saying? Or you learning that your faith is, uh, is, is prosperous. But overall, it's still a learning process. So it really don't necessarily feel harmonious as a motherfucking uh, sextile or a, a trine. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's the energy with that. Uh, then we got Sun Square Saturn, so this is learning how to see reality. So we kind of got the same modality with reality. Okay, anytime you know we want to the sun and sun and fun in the sun. You know what I'm saying? Sun is light consciousness awareness. It's in the eighth house. You know what I'm saying? But it's squaring up Saturn also. You know what I'm saying? So we learn how to see the reality of our situations. What what also could be kind of dual in a sense because you got to learn how to see. You know what I'm saying? Where, where reality is. Or in a reality look like some change. Individuality shit. Because it's in Aquarius. It's in associations. It's in 11th house. You know what I'm saying? It's in uniqueness. It's in originality. It's in a collective aspect. You know what I'm saying? So, But the sun is in Scorpio. So that that's just Scorpio. That can be fixated on your own feelings and emotions. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I, that alignment play out. Shout out to Myra May. I. My, I, my. You know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, sun opposed Uranus. So this is not wanting to change our actions. <laughs> okay, so um people gonna feel the need to not change their action. Like we we well we feel like we're on like on a full course, you know what I'm saying? We gonna feel like on a full course full course, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna feel opposite to change and shit like that, as far as when we hop into our actions. Okay, and then everything's just gonna seem like it's straight ahead. Um, we got Sun trying Neptune, so this is seeing the dream or the illusion. Okay, so you know what I'm saying you could be seeing a dream right now or illusion. Which one you participate in? You know what I'm saying. So you know when it comes to your act, the sun is your actions, the sun is your awareness. You know, so anytime you participate into your actions or awareness, you're gonna have a trying and an easy energy between Neptune, what is your, which is your imaginations, your dreams, and shit like that. And we gonna, um, you're gonna be either seeing the dream or seeing the illusion. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Moon sextile, the sun. This is opportunities. This is opportunity for actions to feel supporting. Okay? So, you can, uh, so you can, whenever you jump into your sun sign out of your actions today, you can feel supported in that. You know what I'm saying? You got the opportunity to feel supported in your actions. Um, your your individuality, your expression. You know what I'm saying? You got an opportunity to that, for that today. You know what I'm saying? So, you got an opportunity. You might, you might have, y'all might have opportunities to, Show y'all motherfucking self off to somebody else today. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Moon Square Venus. This is a uh, shout out to the Cinco for joining the Esoteric Live. Let's build, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We build and we in Esoteric Gym right now. Um, with these alignments, we got Moon Square Venus. This is learning about love. So, we may be comfortable in the details. You know, as far as with the Moon and Virgo, we may be comfortable in the details, Moon and Virgo. You know what I'm saying? But far as appreciating that Venus wants to, um, Venus don't want to appreciate no details right now because it's in Sag. It wants to appreciate morality. It wants to appreciate faith. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be that little square between us wanting to appreciate faith, but us also being comfortable with the details right now. So we want to be comfortable with the details for the most part. But as far as when it comes to appreciating that, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, the, that's in that's in fucking Sagittarius, and that <laughs> and that is uh, escapism and not detaily at all. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Um, moon sextile Mars. This is an opportunity to be comfortable with passions. Okay, so you know what I'm saying we got the opportunity to be comfortable with our passions. You know what I'm saying? So shit might be dark right now when it comes to your passions. 
Shout out to motherfucking um, uh, well Mars is Mars just moved into Scorpio, so you know what I'm saying. If you got Mars in Scorpio, shout out to your Mars return. You know what I'm saying. But yeah, so you got opportunity to be comfortable with your passions and shit like that. And it may be dark, but you got the opportunity to be comfortable with that. Moon in conjunct Jupiter. This is misunderstanding feelings and faith. Okay, so we're going to have a misunderstanding between our feelings and faith and shit like right now. You know what I'm saying? Anytime we hop into our, our reactions and reactions, which is in Virgo right now, Jupiter will be in Aquarius. And so, um, so for that for that instance, the moon and Jupiter in the same space, you know what I'm saying? Or or seeming like it's in the same space based off a 150 degree angle, which is uh, in conjunction, okay? Learning this astrology shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we might have a misunderstanding with um, feelings and with our faith and shit like that. So the faith, our faith and our feelings may seem like they're in the same place, AKA, you know what I'm saying? You might want to feel free but moon in Virgo, aka it's kind of like that same, you know what I'm saying, that same energy. You know what I'm saying? So it causes a misunderstanding. Uh, moving on. Moon trying Pluto. Shout out to Limitless Existence. 511. Moon trying, um, where we at? Where we at? Moon trying Jupiter. Wait, wait, hold on. I think I'm moving too far. What did I just do? Moon in conjunct Jupiter. Okay, so yeah, Moon trying Pluto. Okay, so this is comfortable with death. Okay, so we got the gift to be comfortable with death. Now, it seems easy. Like, death seems easy right now. Okay. Death can seem very easy, aka the things that's transformed. Everything in Capricorn, our status, our position, transform. Gift to be comfortable with that right now. Gift is easy access. So you can be comfortable with your transformation right now if you want to I don't choose for Mercury sextile Venus this is opportunity to appreciate our thinking okay so whatever you want to communicate you can communicate it right now because you'll be it'll be value right now but um but the thing, the thing is, you will see the value in which you communicate. Okay, you will going in that opportunity. You will see the, the motherfucking value of that mindset or the value of that opportunity to communicate. So long as it's coming from a real place, you have that opportunity to communicate. You know what I'm saying right now. Mercury trying trying Jupiter. This is gift to have faith in thinking. Okay, that's another easy access right now. You know what I'm saying? We got the gift to have faith in our wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Faith in our way of thinking right now. You know? Easy access. Mercury in conjunct Neptune. This is misunderstanding between logic and imagination. All right? So this is probably a reason why um, um, you might not be communicating or you might not want to communicate right now. So because what's logical may seem like a dream right now. Or illusion. So be careful not to get on the negative side where you're adding your own imagination to what's reasonable. If it makes sense, it makes sense. If things just make sense, they make sense. It, you know what I'm saying? Mercury square Pluto. This is learning about transformations and thinking. Um, yeah, learning about transformations and thinking. So our thoughts and communications, we feel like we need to get a hold of our thinking. Um, and Pluto might come and say, hey, look, this is where your mind at. You know what I'm saying? So try not to be overly relatable with your thoughts um, because you will hit, you will feel Pluto as um, letting you know that if, if it's some old shit, outdated shit, it's going to let you know that. You're going you gonna to go through that square. Like this is an old way of thinking. Venus sextile Jupiter. This is opportunity to value expansion. Okay. So you got an opportunity to value um, expanding. So take the opportunity if you're going to value, the, if you're going to value the experience, just value the experience and take the wisdom from it. Um, don't try to f be free from it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how that'll play out. You know what I'm saying? With Venus sextile Jupiter, you will value your motherfucker. Just that feeling of like feeling free or that feeling of ex of expanding and shit like that where you know, um, you you might not even actually be trying to add no wisdom to, you know what I'm saying, or or experience it to gain wisdom. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to experience that freedom, do it for actual wisdom. 
Moon Square Neptune. This is learning the value of imagination. OK, so this is like your dreams come with a price energy. Um, and so be careful what's on your imagination because you will find the cost of that. You will find the value of your imagination. If your imagination is negative, you're going to find how much it's worth. So make sure you have a nice little imagination right now because anytime you jump into your appreciation energy and your valuing energy, you know what I'm saying? It's, um, 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 Neptune going to square that up. Square it up. Mars square Jupiter. This is learning to experience individuality. Okay, so we learning to experience our individuality right now. Um, so anytime you jump into your individuality, aka your Mars, your passion. I mean, well, it's not your passion, but it's the energies of today. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, since we are experiencing this as spirits in this vortexal current, you know what I'm saying? That's what, what the fuck is going on. So yeah, Mars square Jupiter. So this is learning to experience individuality. So anytime you jump into your Mars, your individuality, um, Jupiter wants to expand that, but how it's going to be done is through meanings and reasonings and shit like that. So you may feel the need to be passionate, but you may feel Jupiter in a square, like, damn, but what's the meaning and reason of this? So we're going to be learning about that passion, learning how to see, learning how to, learning the wisdom from what we passionately invested in that, that way, that way. Mars square Saturn, this is learning to the reality of your passions. You know what I'm saying? So you also gonna see that shit. The reality of your shit. Mars sextile Pluto. Opportunity to transform right now. So you got the opportunity to transform. You got the opportunity to be no Mars sextile Pluto, right? Yeah. You got the opportunity to be completely new. You know what I'm saying? With this with this sextile. Um, what you use as security is no longer you gotta be you gotta be new, the new security right now. Um Mars is in Scorpio. Um so you got to own this transformation, a.k.a. Mars. When Mars in Scorpio, Mars is home. So Mars is comfortable. So Mars is Mars is home. You know what I'm saying? So feel, think about when you home. You know what I'm saying? You own you owning your shit. You by yourself. You know what I'm saying? So you own it. You know what I'm saying? That's where you at. Shout out to Lotus Eater for joining Let's Build. Okay? Yeah. Then we got um, Saturn square Uranus. This is um, learning organize, learning to organize individuality. Okay, so organizing might not come off stable with this right now because this square. Okay, so when we hop into our Saturn energy and how we doing that is with our associations. Um, organizing in general, Uranus is going to um, make you come and, and 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 square it up and make you learn that whatever you're organizing is changing and you might not like that because for the most part Uranus that Uranus in Taurus that shit Uranus falls in Taurus so so Uranus is bringing change to what's stable and shit like that so it's just a big it's a big flunked out situation because for the most part Saturn is security Saturn is boundaries and shit like that but it's but we can't do our boundaries and shit like that in, in a harmonious way when it comes to our individuality. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, or changing that. We got to change that up in some way. You know what I'm saying? We got to change that up. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, also, it's also changing based off that square. You know what I'm saying? Our boundaries are changing and we're learning about the change of the boundaries. Of, of. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're learning about that shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's the energy of that. Then Neptune, Sextile, Pluto. This is opportunity to put depth to illusions and imagination. So this is actually good because if you are in an illusion about something, if you are in a daydream about something, if you are not in reality right now, you can, you got the opportunity to put depth to those illusions. You know what I'm saying? You know? Um, But yeah. So some of y'all need to take this opportunity because I know I need to. We all kind of a little here and there with it, but shit, we here. So so yeah, but yeah, that's it. That's it, man. That's the conversation. Let's build. Um, if y'all any got anybody got any questions, anything y'all want to build on, 
you know what I'm saying? I know everybody wasn't here for the for the CMOS shit, but you know, um, you know, like I said, I like the CMOS shit. It was a vibe. You know what I'm saying? I just had to touch on the motherfucking conscious community and people utilizing things as their savior. Like, you know what I'm saying? CMOS gonna take them to the eighth dimension or some shit like that. And it's not nah. No, you can't do that. It ain't con see don't see don't make you conscious. See don't make your savior. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you know what I'm saying, you gotta understand what you look what, what, what you looking at, you know what I'm saying, when these agendas and things be happening and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sea moss, you gonna eat sea moss and die. Shit, that's what you dying, period period. <laughs> period. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But um, that's it. I mean, shit, if anybody don't get no questions and shit, you know what I'm saying? This will be a wrap of this episode and things of that nature. Um, Any announcements or anything for me? Uh, No. Everybody can, you know what I'm saying? I still got music out. I'm still putting music out. Oh, I'm going to be getting back on readings, too. Um, That's another thing I'm going to... Um, she said, use or be used. Shout out to Lotus Eater. Right. Use or be used. Facts, big facts, but um, she uh, no, what did you? Da, 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 uh, 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 that's some Scorpio shit too. <laughs> that's some Scorpio shit. That is some Scorpio shit. It is your flight season, I think too. So shout out to you. Um, but yeah, I forgot that. But yeah, that's 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 where we go go. She said she said my bad. No no no, you said easy. You said easy reading. Oh yeah, yeah, you right, you right, you right. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, so I'm getting back on these motherfucking readings soon too, and um, um, so yeah, I'll be doing more uh, uh pop up readings and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So we can just get back on um, so you know, so I can get back things rolling in that nature too. So y'all look out for that and things of that nature. Yeah. But yay, I'm KLC Throw the Spirit Coach. Thank y'all for joining the Esoteric Huddle. Let's build. S happy, whatever. I don't know what you celebrate. Don't be celebrating no mason shit. Get your ass in the game. <laughs>